Hello, this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be capturing the Sol Nebula and we're gonna be joined by Glenn, Jason, and Isaac, some great astrophotographer YouTuber friends of mine. So let's get started. The Sol Nebula lies in the Cassiopeia constellation. It's an emissions nebula. It's about 7,500 light years away and it really gets its name from the fact that most astrophotographers when shooting the heart nebula that's actually shaped like a heart actually will do a wide field and capture the soul nebula next to it and so it's called the heart and soul nebula in which case we tonight i'm hoping or throughout the course of quite a few nights actually are going to be taking the image just of the soul nebula itself and and not both in a wide field Hey guys! Hey! Hello! Hey Joe! Come on! Hello, <laughs> mate! <laughs> Who are these two reprobates you bought with you, Joe? Where did you find them? The, the Scorpion Brothers. Oh, uh, yeah, they're Scorpion Hunters. Yeah. Uh, I thought it'd be cool if we did a collaboration with them. We, we all shot the same target. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I've been out in my garden looking at worms with a UV torch. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't get scorpions in the UK. No, no. Uh, oh, that'd be a great idea. What, what are we all thinking of doing? What sort of target we want? Well, uh, what, uh, what, what what telescopes do we do we have? Yeah, that's a good idea. We better think about that. What? I don't know. Start with you, Joe. What you got? Um, I've got the Edge 8 at 1,422 millimeters, and I've got my Z81 at 470-ish. 470 ish. 447. Actually, it's 447. Cool. cool. So I've got uh, my Stellar View. It's uh, 480 uh, focal length. I've got a Red Cat, which is 250, and I've got a 8 inch RC, which is 1600. I don't have a flat or a reducer on that. Those are mine. What about you, Isaac? Um, I have the Z73 430 focal length and then the, the Space Cat, which is the 250. Okay. So my, my smallest scope is my Zenith Star 61. But okay. I've actually got a reducer for that, so I can take that down to 288, from 360 to 288. Uh, and I've got a 130 PDS, but that's 650. And then I've got my CT10, but that's 1200. So I think we're looking at the smaller end, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What, uh, what what cameras do you guys have? So I have I have the the mono, I have the 183 mono. Yeah. Um what what what, what do you have, Glenn? I've got a 183 mono as well. Okay. I got a 294 mono. I only shoot the mono. Okay, and then and then well, well Jason and I can use the same equipment cuz we're Actually, that that work quite well, actually, Joe, because uh, the one eight three is an inch, just a one inch sensor. So, although we're at a wider field of view with the smaller sensor, it's going to match up with your four thirds and the uh, eighty one, isn't it? Yeah, that'll yeah. work. That'll match up well, I reckon. I'll use the eighty one. Okay. So, so what are we going to need a target? So what's, man, what's going to fit in that moon? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, this time of year, it's hard to find a target that's gonna that's gonna fill the, the frame of view at that focal length. Um. Well, we can we can probably do the soul souls up all night, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Get a lot of time on that. Yeah, I think I think it would frame up. So if we do the one eighty three in the space cat, I think it would frame up to what you guys have, uh, Joe and Glenn. What do What do you think? Yeah, I'll be a little bit closer, yeah. won't I? So about thirty mil, I mean, it'd be negligible. And Joe, I think it's you. Closer. You guys will have to crop into me if we do that. Yeah, but I don't. But it'll work. It'll yeah, work. but we're not going to get both in, are we? We're not going to get heart and soul, so we might as well be cropped yeah. in to get the detail. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. We all up yeah, for no. doing? Are we? Are we all yeah. going narrow band, or are we doing a mixture? Yeah, we'll, we'll do. Uh, we'll do narrow band. Like I said, um, I can. Yeah. Since me and Jason live pretty close together, he, he can he can shoot for both of us. Okay. 
Yeah, I got the observatory at home, and I can just set it up and just let it run all night long and capture as much uh, as much data as possible. Yeah, we're we're actually heading out to uh, Alpha Scorpia, the desert, this weekend, so I can I can start the oxygen over there, get some clean data. Oh, that'd be nice. Is that S Port nice. One, isn't it, for you guys, isn't it? Out there? Yeah, yeah. Mm, nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you can get some scorpions too. Yeah, and we get some yeah. scorpions. Yeah, no scorpions and bottle six for me. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. So All right. yeah, okay. Well, we'll do, we'll we'll crack on with that then. So what? We'll go off and do it, and we'll come back Let's go. and see what we get, shall we? Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right, guys. Hey Joe. Hey Glenn. Welcome to Beta Scorpii. So this is the equipment that we're going to be using. Um, we have the Space Cat 51. It has a focal length of 250 millimeters, uh, aperture of 51 millimeters. Um, we also have our guide scope. This is a 30 millimeter guide scope, 130 millimeter focal length with a ZWO 120mm mini guide scope, guide camera. All right, and then for the, the camera, uh, we're using the ZWO ASI 183mm, that's monochrome. Uh, I do have the uh, eight position filter wheel. I have, we're gonna be, go ahead and using uh, astronomic six nanometer hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. And since we're here at uh, Beta Scorpii, uh, I already have my mount set up. Um, this is an Orion Sirius EQ, uh, EQG, so it's equivalent to the HEQ5, I believe it is. Uh, it's a nice, skirt, sturdy mount. Um, it can support up to 30 pounds, so the Red Cat will have no problem on this, uh, on this uh, mount. All right, guys, and then so our project, uh, we are, we started the the project. Um, if you. If you saw um, one of our last videos, we started the project at Alpha Scorpia, which is that's the Baltimore Desert. So we actually started to collect oxygen there. Uh, last night, Jason was able to capture some sulfur. And uh, tonight, because of the moon, uh, we are capturing hydrogen alpha. So uh, we're excited to work with you guys and uh, we, we hope that the data turns out. Hi Joe, Jason, Isaac, hope you're all well. So I'm going to give a quick breakdown of my rig that I'm going to be using for our uh, collaboration on the Soul Nebula. So I'm going to be using my Zenith Star 61, which is by William Optics, and it'll have the William Optics 50mm guide scope riding on top. You'll also notice that there'll be uh, dew tapes on both my scopes as unlike yourselves, I live in a rather humid area um, and so dew is definitely an issue for me, especially at this time of year. On the back of my Zenith Star 61, I have the 61 flat R, which is a 0.8 reducing field flattener and it also has a really nice built-in rotator so that's quite a nice uh, feature. The camera I'm going to be using for this project is my Altair Astro 183M ProTech camera. That's uh, a mono camera and uh, yep, yeah, takes great images. It uh, works exactly the same and has the same uh, chip as the ZWO 183M. So as we discussed, we'll be shooting in narrowband. So I'll have my uh, ZWO filter wheel on with SHO filters inside. And uh, you'll also notice on my camera, I've got the ZWO uh, heating element on the front there. So I was getting some dew issues on the outside of the sensor window um, when I was chilling this camera to minus 10. But since fitting the uh, heating element on the front there, that's cured any problems like that. Finally, we are going to be uh, guiding with the ASI 120mm Mini in the guide scope, and I'm gonna be mounting the rig onto my HEQ5 Pro. So that's my rig, guys. I'd like to wish you the best of luck with the imaging capture, and I look forward to getting back to you with my data and we'll see what image we can come up with. Tonight I'm going to be using my William Optics Z81 
doublet aprochromatic telescope with a uh, William Optics guide scope on it. I'm using the 120 mini for guiding, a ZWO EAF for my automatic focuser. I've got a ZWO filter wheel and a ZWO 294mm Pro camera. Um, I'm going to be using Astrodon 5 nanometer um, for my hydrogen, Chroma 3 nanometer for my oxygen, and Astrodon 3 nanometer for my sulfur. I'm going to hopefully be taking 10 minute exposures as long as my guiding's on point and at a unity gain with 294, uh, 120. How's it going, guys? Go, guys? Hey, it's going really well. It's I just nearly, got done imaging just now. It's nearly Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your Christmas jumpers? <laughs> I don't believe it. Where's your Christmas jumper? I think it, here, here we call them ugly sweaters. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I don't have one. Do you not I have a Christmas have jumper? You don't have a Christmas jumper. <laughs> Sure oh man, I'm a, I'm a Scrooge. What about you, Isaac? You know, uh, Christmas doesn't really start till December 24th at seven. That's when it really gets cold here in the desert. You yeah. Know? <laughs> than... How did we all get on anyway? Um, I got 24 hours. So what nice. did you guys get? Uh, yeah, a combination of. I didn't know uh, you were gonna come on here and tell us how long you got. It means I've got to go away and work it out. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's have a look. I've got 48. That's 80. Oh, I've got this lot as well. Hang on. Oh, 20, 230. I've got these as well. Hang on. 29. Two hours later. So we reckon then on the Sol Nebula we've got about 64, 65 hours. Is that what you think? Yeah. Oh, that, that is crazy. So we this is gonna this is gonna have some insane detail, I reckon. Oh yeah. Okay. So oh. who's gonna edit it then? I say the legend ed edits it. Who's that? Yeah. You point in like you. why are you pointing at me? Overall everything came out great. I love the image that we got. Uh, we got um, over 60 hours of integration time between the four of us. It, it was a pleasure working with you, Jason, Isaac, and Glenn. I had a blast and I want to give a huge thank you uh, for including me in this collaboration. I hope everyone enjoys the image as much as I do and we'll see you in the next video.